Hi, this is Gary Gibson. I'm going to introduce our Tronics 2 Basic Digital Concepts Lab, which is a lab that was designed to get students introduced to what is digital, what is digital electronics, and it's a very exciting lab. We provide you all the electronic parts to build gates and to practice with them and use them to build many useful devices. As I turn the page, we come to the cover page here showing the solderless breadboard and how we mount the parts on it to do all of the experiments. You'll see here the table of contents <clears throat> of all the things that we cover. As you turn the page, we explain what is necessary. We show you the solderless breadboard, pinout diagrams for integrated circuits, logic symbols, we explain why we use CMOS ICs in this lab and how to assemble the experiments. As you turn the page, you come to the inventory. We supply all of these parts. These are all included in the lab. You have a solderless breadboard. We give you all the integrated circuits, including the seven segment readout. You get 12 bright red LEDs for doing all of the experiments. You get three ceramic disc capacitors and three electrolytic capacitors of different values, a push button switch, a photo cell, the transistors, all of the resistors that are shown here, you get a whole group of 47 different resistors. In addition, you're getting three diodes and 25 black wires and 25 red wires to use in the assembly of the experiments. You get two 9 volt battery snaps and the solderless breadboard and the potentiometer. All these parts are supplied to you so you can use this lab to learn what digital electronics is in a very fun way. All right, so if I move all these parts off of the book here, after I've taken my inventory, which just takes a few minutes, and I will show you how we will start. There is also software that goes along with this program if you'd like to enhance the learning process. As you turn the page, we show you that you can take all of the parts that are supplied in this lab and plug them into an extra solderless breadboard and use that as an inventory to keep your parts in order. Turning the page, our first lesson has to do with what's the difference between digital and analog. And we explain to you the differences here. Then turning the page, we show you some of the terminology and explain to you some of the terminology that is used in digital electronics. As we go on to the next page, lesson three, we talk about how we use the solderless breadboard to put our parts in here to build the circuits. First experiment. First experiment, we plug in an LED with a resistor and tell you that when that LED is lit, it it indicates a high in a digital circuit. So high the LED is on, low the LED is off. Next experiment we go into, we're going to actually build an AND gate. The AND gate has a certain truth table to it and you're going to assemble an AND gate using two diodes, two resistors, and an LED. So in other words, you're building the AND gate with discrete components. Here we show its symbol, here we show its truth table, and here we show the Boolean equation that is for the AND gate. This is the inventory again, just like on Artronics 1 lab. These are the parts you need to be able to do this experiment. You read through here and you will understand what an AND gate is. The next experiment is the OR gate. Again, you build it with discrete components, diodes, resistors, and an LED. We show you the schematic, we show you the symbol, the truth table, and the Boolean equation. Next step, next lesson, we go in and we build a NOT and a YES gate. Same situation. The next one, we introduce the NOR gate with all of its truth tables, comparing it to the OR gate. The next experiment is a NAND gate, but we tell you, you really don't need to build all your logic circuits 
by with discrete components you can buy integrated circuits that have these gates built into them so we demonstrate what's the NAND gate and we compare it to the AND gate now what can you do with an AND gate well in computers we need to have clocks clocks that generate pulses so we can take two NAND gates connecting them like so and we can create a clock so we explain to you how that works then we can also take the NAND gate and make a timer. Both of these circuits are very important in digital electronics and in our computers. Next one, we take two NAND gates and we make a memory. It's referred to as an RS flip-flop. This is a circuit that will remember. Computers all use these kinds of circuits for their memory. The next one we introduce Again, the 555 timer, like from Tronix One Lab, and we show you how it's used in this lab. So now, you take your 555 timer, which can emit pulses. You send a pulse to a chip, chip called the 4029, which is a binary counter, which will light up LEDs in a binary sequence. So the first pulse will light up the first LED, the second pulse, and so on, and it will count the pulses in binary. And we explain all about that because computers actually on their insides operate with binary. Now, here is the decade counter same binary counter except this time it's mod 10 it only counts to 10 and then repeats over here it was mod 16 it will go up to 16 and repeat the next experiment that we go into here <clears throat> is a divider circuit divide by 2 divide by 4 divide by 8 divide by 16 and we explain all about how that works then we go into detail on what is a seven segment display how does it light up to represent digital numbers now <clears throat> if you get a chip called the 4511 which we supply in this lab and you put a binary number into it it will demonstrate or show up on the display the decimal equivalent to the binary number that's coming into it so what do we do with this well the computer takes its binary numbers sends pulses to the binary counter. The binary counter sends binary numbers to the 4511 called a decoder. The decoder then lights up the seven segment <coughs> display in the decimal equivalent of the binary numbers shown on the 4029. These are all the pieces that go together to make the computers today. Digital up down counter, we can also send the pulses and count up and count down. Then the next experiment we use, we talk about what's a demultiplexer, okay? Then in the next experiment, we have digital chasing lights, and we go into all kinds of circuits that you can build with now the pieces that you've learned. A logic probe, the pulse generator, train, pulse train generator, many things that are very useful in digital electronics. Notice the fun we've had, we've worked with the components, we've explained how all of this works, and then the students will be able to go back in here and build many useful devices. Digital touch activated switch, digital stepping switches, and so forth. Hope you enjoy this lab. Thank you very much. Tronics 2 Digital Learning Lab is available exclusively from gssteched.com.